The Ember Seeker medallions are a pain to find. The first one just appears in your inventory from Gina, but the other five, mm, they don't do this. You have to work for them, AKA you have to go find them. And they are in places that you'll randomly stumble upon. Here are all the locations of the Ember Seeker medallions. Like I said, the first one you get from Gina in the vault after completing the Temple of Flames quest and unlock the bundles. The rest are hidden around Bahari. Let's start at the north of the map. One is at the very top of the map near a waterfall east of Tomalo's house in the thorny thicket. If you follow the river to the back of this little ledge, you can drop down and on the little pocket of sand, you'll find a treasure chest. Grab it for your first medallion. The second one is to the east of Statue Garden. On the beach, there's a broken down boat. The treasure chest is hiding underneath it. This one you might actually a chance of finding on your own. These other ones though, pff, hell no. The third medallion can be found near Lighthouse Lagoon. Under this southern curved part of the ancient ruin is a little nook. Climb up a little bit and the treasure chest will be nestled here. The fourth one is hidden under the underground tunnel that is located between the windy ruins and hideaway bluffs. You know that tunnel where you steal all that paleom? There's a hole in the floor that will lead you to the seemingly empty area, but if you walk through this curtain of leaves, you'll find another hidden area, with a regular treasure chest if you haven't been here before, but you'll also find the medallion if you continue a bit further down into the ancient ruins. The last medallion is located near the Beachcomber Cove teleporter. Near this huge tree, there's a little corner where a chest is hiding. And that's it. That's all six Ember Seeker medallions. Once you run back to the vault and turn them in, you'll receive the Kitsu Rock Garden as a reward. I've yet to see this cutie, but every night at midnight Eastern time, 9 p.m. Pacific time, or whatever time zone you're in, the Kitsu will give you a reward. I'm assuming this thing works like Zeki's coins and probably has some really cool items, but so far I've only gotten 10 fine arrows, so I mean, they're nice, but I'm waiting for the good stuff. By the way, if you want a map of all the locations of the medallions, this Reddit post has a link to a map, which I have linked in the description if you want it. Now that Paleo has been out for a bit and together as a community, we've discovered exactly how a lot of these mechanics work. Look forward to some for dummies guides. I'll be diving into them soon. I'll see you next time. Bye.